Hi guys, Down Under Monkey, and I'm about to get my pick on. So, I figured I paid for these in my last package. I might as well pick them. Um, yeah, something to do, right? So, they do work. This one's a boat anchor. Gonna get rid of the keys, which is where we're going. We don't need keys. Um, so, this one was gunky, so I sprayed some of this in there. Try PTFE. Uh, I had a picture of a lock, and, you know, it's a crappy Chinese lock, so I'm not going to bother treating it nicely. <laughs> um, this one is now a dead shackle, since the spring came out the bottom. And a little tricycle. That's cute, this thing. Anyway. Uh, so let's start with the one that's probably going to kick my ass the most, which is the master lock. And, uh, yeah. Let's get some picking. Get a couple hooks out, big and a small. Let's try the big ones, a big open keyway. Down a bit so you can see what's going on. Only one, two, or three. Four feels happy. Ugh, four is crunchy. I don't know what's up in those springs. To be quite honest, I don't think I want to know. Hmm. It's given a little bit away, but not much. It's a five pin or a four pin? I think it's a five pin. I don't actually feel the fifth pin. Oh, there we go. Got him. All right, that's one down. Let's give this one a go. Well, that first pin is, look at this, that first pin is probably two millimeters inside the front of that lock. <laughs> so, trying to get my tension bar in such a way that it doesn't bind with it. And get cracking. Or picking actually. Okay, that was good. Easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Now these are starting to get hard to hold. <laughs> Fiddly little things. What is up with that tension bar? Alright, well, tension from there then, if you so choose to. It's half hanging out of the keyway. Gonna make it hard to get the pin on. It made no difference anyway. Nice. On to the little one. It's only a little one. Don't start with the that's what she said jokes. <laughs> Quick. Oh, my hand is really not enjoying holding this one. to get the vice in a minute because this one does not like being held. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna get the vice. It's really difficult to hold. It dented my thumb is nice. 
get the voice. Jam it in there. And we'll try it from up here. It's much more comfortable to hold. Okay. You know what? Let's bring it down here. Give you a zoom in. So you can see what errors I'm making. One is tucked up nice and high behind the tension bar, which is cool. Just makes it more fun to get to. Okay, so most things feel like this set. Let's try that number one. And there we go. Got the little bugger. That reminds me of uh, the little Louis Vuitton, uh, Louis Vuitton challenge lock, actually, that is now in the custody of Lockpicking Newbie since he won my last giveaway. Um, yeah, so he's enjoying that. He picked it actually straight out of the box. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to show you something with this. Um, so that's the bidding. Right. This is a really cool lock, but that bidding is kind of terrible. Um, so let's go with the bottom of the keyway and an echo wave rake. These things are magic. A bit of a zap, and there you go. That's how stupidly easy it is to get that one open with that bidding. Actually, um, Funky Monkey did a video, I think it was just today, and he had a key that had crappy bidding like that as well. Um, maybe it's worth having a look at fixing the bidding. I mean, you can, like Funky was showing, you can take out these little dots. Two, three, four, five, looks like only a five pinner. Uh, I might <laughs> stop there. I don't want to push my luck any further. Uh, but I will definitely, definitely be having a pick on this one soon. You yeah, look at that keyway. That's a monster. I'm not really even sure if my picks will go up there. One. Oh, there's a gap in the warding. Shouldn't be too bad. But uh, I think that's a lock for another night. I'm not going to push my luck with that. And I will pick this one too. I mean, it's a lock with uh, <laughs> 234. I think uh, I think Funky said it was. Yeah, that's a 234, and that's a clone 245. So, um, yeah, that'll probably be my next video. That one, that one, and, oh, while I'm at it, um, I hit over 100 subscribers, and I'm absolutely chuffed, absolutely insanely excited. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, I've enjoyed my journey so far, and I think it's only going to get better from here. Um, but yeah, I want to thank each and every single one of you, um, the commenters, the likers, the subscribers, the regulars, the casual drop-ins, and the one-offs. I mean, thank you so much for for getting me to where I am. Um, I never thought I'd get, you know, 10 subscribers, let alone 100. Uh, 104 last time I checked. Uh, so I will be having a giveaway. That announcement will be coming up soon. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a slightly different concept for my giveaway, but it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. There's going to be some cool prizes, so uh, keep an eye out for that one. It won't be in this video with these, but it will be coming soon. 
Uh, so again, guys, thanks a million. I, don't, I actually get choked up when I when I saw the hundred subscribers. I was like, oh man, people actually like watching what I do. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for all that. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out. There will be something being given away soon. So thanks for watching me pick all these. Uh, I can compensate you. Well, not that one. Sorry, get away. Um, I can compensate you by sending you these if you want, but um, anyway, they are what they are. Thanks for watching, have a good night, and stay safe.